Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am Michael Loftus, and this is The Flip Side. Welcome aboard. Now, uh, this is our first episode. It's kind of a big deal. And we're thinking, uh, like, each week I could kind of, uh, you know, come out here and we can talk about what's happening in the world. But this being our very first show, uh, myself and my crack writing staff, we sat down and we decided, let's not do anything fancy. Let's just do this old school. Let's just report on the basic facts. According to a recent study, almost a quarter of people ages 18 to 49 actually get their news from comedy shows, all right? When I heard that, I was all like, I want one of those. And my friend was all like, what? And I was like, yeah, dude, let's go to Texas. Pow, pow, pow! And here we are. Because, thank you. Thank you. It seems like when it comes to political TV shows, you have like two choices, okay? You got some goofball on Comedy Central telling you it's all gonna be okay and that the government has all the answers. Or you have some old white guys telling you it's the end of the world. Some choice, huh? So this show is the third option, middle-aged white guys. <laughs> And we're saying it's bad, but we might be able to figure a way out. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna sit here every week and lecture to you, you know, America's gone crazy! But I will say this, America might wanna make an appointment and talk to a specialist because <laughs> America's been exhibiting some behaviors that your mother and I are, are very concerned about. <laughs> Case in point, there's a lot of politicians going around literally saying we can spend our way out of debt, okay? On this show, that's considered crazy talk because there is no such thing as spending your way out of debt. There was no such thing as spending your way out of debt. There was no such thing as a free lunch -a. I got I got all reverendy on you there. It's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness the pursuit of happiness. You have to chase it down, right? And, and happiness has a way of running its ass off, so you better run. <laughs> they also like to say stuff like the American dream is dead. It isn't, the American dream is not dead. Uh, look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? I'm not kidding, Arnold Schwarzenegger came to this country many, many years ago. He didn't even speak the language. Arnold just came up, he got off a plane, he was like <laughs> And people were like, what are you doing here? And he's like <laughs> He didn't even speak the language, but he needed stuff. He sold real estate and he became a millionaire in real estate. And yeah, people are like, wow, you're a millionaire. You must be done. He's like, no, no, I'm going to be a champion lifter. I'm going to, oh my God. So he did that too. He's like, no, there's more I want to do. I'm going to be a movie star. And then he did that too. So now he's a millionaire. He's a, he's a champion lifter. He's a movie star. No, I'm going to be the governor of California. <laughs> Nothing could slow him down until he met the government, right? Red tape and bureaucracy. <laughs> this ball of red tape is horrible. What if I were to, oh, I don't know, lift the ball of red tape over my head and like lift it a whole bunch and then never, uh, no, that wouldn't do it. Ah! What if I were to get naked and cover my body in mud and stand very still? <laughs> and I would have booby traps, and then the ball of tape would come by looking for me, but I'm covered in mud, and his vision is thermal. And then they would know I left a booby trap, and the ball of tape would look at me, and I'd go like, I'm over here! Kill me now! <laughs> no. What if I had sex with the maid? <laughs> it's worth a shot. All right. Even Arnold couldn't defeat the giant ball of red tape, but that's what we're gonna try to do here. We're gonna cut through all the BS and the red tape and get to some damn funny truth. I'm Michael Loftus, and this is The Flip Side. Stick around.
Why is it that those who demand power to the people don't think anyone can do a damn thing without the government's help? <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, are you always looking at things and what people are doing and saying, that's not right, or, or what are you, like, new? Well, it's in that very spirit that from time to time, here on the flip side, we're going to make a visit to a place where maybe nothing gets solved, but at least I have a chance to feel better and not want to throw an ax at someone. That place resides in my own head, the land of Michael-topia. <laughs> lovely, right? Who's the, who's the model? All right. Jokes about Larry King's age are really, really getting tired. Especially when you consider people have been making these jokes since, oh, I don't know, the Bronze Age. Mm, me grog. Me ancient wear suspender. See, I was a caveman and I invented it. All right. Here's the deal. North Korea. We will consider letting you have all the nukes you want if you promise to keep Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Radiation crazy guy. Radiation crazy guy. And Crown Royal, enough with the little purple gold stitched felt bags. Guys don't need a fancy little embroidered bag when they want to do whiskey shots. No one's ever been like, let's have some whiskey. Well, did it come out of a bag? Because <laughs> I'm a cowboy, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, yeehaw. <laughs> Starting a speech with Webster's Defines is a great way to tell people you're about to bore the living hell out of them. <laughs> Leave the room. Okay, and I bet those what would Jesus do bumper stickers would be a lot more compelling if instead you asked, what would Jack A do? <laughs> yeah, dropping some 227 knowledge on you. <laughs> People who tack on the please consider the environment before printing this email at the end of their emails, do you really think you're scoring any karma points with Mother Earth? And who the hell's printing out emails? Isn't that the whole point of an email? The E is for electronic. Okay. And every case of bottled water sold in the United States should contain at least one bottle that looks like all the others, but is actually filled with Stoli. <laughs> yes. It's what I call Stoli roulette. Yeah, I'm driving a bus, but I won! <laughs> All right. Tex-Mex restaurants, there's only one way to serve fajitas. Sizzling, okay? When it arrives at my table, it should set off the sprinklers. I want it to burn my face. I want people to go, what the hell did he order? Okay, and for God's sake, three tortillas is never enough, okay? But thank you. Bring the extra. Sizzling extra tortillas. And is it too much? If I can have a, like a, just a little plate on the side, that's where I make my little burritos. So it doesn't touch the fajita juice. Okay, this one is, is very uh, dear to me. Do you know what I like about Earth Day? Nothing. All right, that's Michael Topia. Stick around. We got the one and only radio host, the legendary Larry Elder. He's going to be right over there. We're coming back. The Flip Side with Michael Loftus is brought to you by... The Republican Party, a proud tradition of growing government at a slightly slower rate. All right. You're wonderful. Okay. All right. 
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to The Flip Side. Uh, the last time my next guest made an appearance on The Flip Side, we received over 4,000 letters begging to have him back on. And we figure anybody who can write that many letters <laughs> deserves another shot. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, my very big pleasure to have out here, Mr. Larry Elder. Fantastic. Thanks for coming out. My pleasure. My pleasure. Woohoo. So welcome back to the flip side. You look well. Thank you. You always look fit. Steroids. <laughs> there you go. Anabolics. You're on the, <laughs> the juice. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's people, there's still confusion out there on the streets. Because you got some people saying, like, oh, I got free health care. And then other people going, no, no, you have to buy it now, and the penalty is going to be like 75 yeah. bucks. Well, as gifted, That's what I want. As I want the, I don't have to buy it, I just owe somebody 75 bucks. <laughs> as gifted as Obama is, he hasn't repealed the notion that you can't get something for nothing. And that's the problem. Health care costs money. Yeah. And yes, yeah, some people are getting health care for less money than they would have paid before. That means you and I are paying for the difference. Nothing is free. Yeah. More competition is the answer, not less. That's what I thought, too. Thank you. Yeah. But I think, I think people are like, I'll just be the guy that sneaks by. You know, I'll just get the, I'll be the $75 guy. Okay. American cities, is there hope for Detroit? Is there hope for Chicago? You know, these are cities that have been run for 50 years by Democrats. Tax, spend, regulate is their model, and they're shocked when jobs go away. I live in, uh, in L.A. L.A. is a large city, of course. It's the worst performing big city since 1992. Tax, spend, regulate is their policy. They've never seen a tax they don't like. And then they're shocked when jobs go elsewhere, down in Texas, for example. Yeah, yeah. so you're paying for the shopping bags now. Yeah. Now, here's have... a, now explain this to me. This is, this, I'm, I'm going off book here. In, in Los Angeles, uh, the shopping bags are now, uh, the plastic ones are against the law. Right. You can be pulled over and shot by a cop if you have a plastic bag <laughs> in, in, in L.A. It, it's, it's, it's that bad. I mean, it's, it's that bad. Now, here's the deal that gets me. <laughs> <laughs> Since the beginning of organized grocery stores, they always gave you a bag, right? Right. So they've, they've, they've taken the price that they have to spend for that bag, and they put it in the tomatoes or whatever. It's an extra. Right. And then they invite you to, to do your own checkout. Right. You're like, when did I clock in? Right. Like, I'm bagging my own stuff, my own bag. Do I get an employee discount? All right. Michael, right. And, and while our city council voted to get rid of the bags, they also voted to make sure that all porn stars wear condoms when they're engaging in their business. Well, that's where we draw the line, America. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm not going to do, like, the bring your own bag joke. <laughs> you crossed the line, it's, Loftus. Yeah. You crossed the line. I'm glad, I, glad we had a little laugh before this, but, like, uh, Iraq, mm. you know? That's, uh, that's a scary proposition there. What's... Uh, we should have stayed. We should have stayed, should have kept a residual force, a stay-behind force of 10 to 20,000 people, and uh, we would have had a different outcome. But when when we left in 2011, Obama called it sovereign, safe, and democratic. Yeah. And, and then he, he kept saying that, like, they wouldn't let us. They're like, hey, we yeah. tried to keep a base. They wouldn't let us. Like, aren't we? I think we were kind of allowed to. Obama ran to get us out of Iraq, and now he's claiming, well, because everything is going badly, I, I wanted to keep troops there, but they wouldn't let me. Yeah. Bull. He wanted out. He said he wanted out. Would you have voted for him, the left, if he had run and said, ah, I think we ought to stay in Iraq for another 20, 30 years, vote for me? Yeah. Nobody would have done it. Yeah. And now he's up against the wall. Because, mm. I mean, hopefully you don't have to do boots on the ground and that kind of thing, but, but something has to be done, you know? We've it's... got boots on the ground now. You can call it anything you want, but we've got boots on the ground right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's cool. God bless those guys and, yeah. and, and keep them safe. Uh, just really quickly. Yeah. 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 Uh, I was, uh, I was on the website, the uh, elders... The elders, uh, the elderstatement.com. Elderstatement.com. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, and you got the blog about uh, Pat Robertson, and he's changed his stance on weed? Pat Robertson wanted to make sure marijuana was legal. Okay. Then he switched his position, I wanted it to be illegal. Now he wants it to be legal again. Is he saying, like, it's like medical marijuana? Because I tell you what, there's a clinic down the street from my house. And there, yeah, there's a lot of people who are diagnosed with, like, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, 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 think, I, I think I figured it out. I think you got a bad batch. <laughs> Could be wrong. Hey, my niece made me these cookies, and I just keep eating them. All right. We, we, have, a, we have a thing now. Uh, we're we're going to try out. This is, a, this is a personality quiz. Okay. So here we go. Reservoir dogs or Kill Bill? 
Reservoir Dogs. Okay. iPhone or Android? I don't know what an Android is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Douchey or hobby? Yachting or falconry? <laughs> Yachting, of course. <laughs> okay. Curly or Shemp? Curly. Thank you very much. There's only one Curly. There's only one, there's only one James Bond. There's only one Curly. That's, we're not going to get better than that. There's That's right. only one Curly, ladies and gentlemen. Only one Curly, only one James Bond. <laughs> Sean go. Connery. Larry Elder, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you go to Larry's website, elderstatement.com. Thank you so much. We got more. We got much, much more. Woo. Thank you. Welcome back to the flip side. All right, have you ever seen something online, in the paper, or just looking out your bathroom window, and you get the, the strong urge to ridicule, mock, or just make fun of it? Well, now you know how I feel all the time, every second of every day. This segment of the flip side is called Picture This. Jim always thought soccer was boring. <laughs> until they enforced the one-kill rule. <laughs> Anna was never the same after being stood up at her high school prom. <laughs> or, yeah, you're, you're very generous. <laughs> Someone clap for that. I, go back to that last one. I got, I got a little something else. It's the Freedom Socialist Party and Radical Women International Revolutionary Feminists. I worked on the name all night. Why is there no line? <laughs> Dude, if we're going to try to keep up the illusion of like two parties, you're going to have to disagree with us on something. <laughs> I love this one. Booyah! He's rocking the fives. Rising up, back on the street. Took my time, took my chances. Mr. President, you were feeling the burn. You told me. Mr. President. All right. Hey, making a Viagra run. Anybody need anything? Anybody? Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny and Cher. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hold mine by the wings. You just put your face in yours butt. <laughs> hey, dig us, man. Think of the eggs. <laughs> I don't have a joke for this. I just like to look at that for a second. If you look, uh, if you look closely, there is glitter on her tummy, <laughs> where the angels kissed her. <laughs> no, those are angel kisses. Uh, <laughs> whatever, here's another dollar. <laughs> How is nursing school? Uh, wow, that is, that is wild stuff. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the smartest man in the world. I can't get the umbrella past this bar. This, this, this bar is stopping my progress. Why does the bar hate us, Barack? Why is the bar hate us? Is the bar a racist? The absolute craziest time in Kabul is when they open up a brand new bed, bath, and burqa. Yeah. I have a coupon! <laughs> Don't we all have that coupon? I mean, every other day in the mail. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. The school cafeteria does offer a whole variety of smelly and bad items no one wants to eat, yet we're forced to choose from. Kind of like your husband's failed presidency. <laughs> Or, 
door, damn, is that pizza? <laughs> hey, who doesn't love a good drilling? <laughs> I'm thinking this guy's brother-in-law owns the company. He loves drilling. Honk if you love drilling. I love drilling. Dude, we get it. <laughs> All right, and this finally is one for the ladies. <laughs> If you look closely. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, that's our show, everyone. Thank you so much. Tune in next week.